السلام عليكم ورحمة الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له وما يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار My dear little children, tonight is the night of the 9th of Jumada Athani 1443 years after the Hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu which coincides with January 12, 2022 I welcome you back to our series of <coughs> the study of the life of Prophet Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary. And today our title is Isa or Jesus is not God or part of God. He was a human being. He was a prophet and the messenger of Allah. There are a lot of people who believe that Isa salam, or Jesus was God or they believe that he is part of God or they also attribute him as a son to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And many of the people, they have come up with a theory which is called the Trinity, the theory of Trinity, where they believe that three uh, entities became one, which is the, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All of these concepts, whether he is the Son or the God, part of God or he has divinity, all of these are false or man-made uh, uh, theories. And today, inshallah, we will see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuted all of these claims of the Christians and the other people who have attributed these lies to the great prophets and the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Al-An'am, verse number 100 to 102, Allah ta'ala uh, refers to the actions of the pagans and the kuffar, that is believers, Allah says, وَجَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ شُرَكَاءَ الْجِنِّ وَخَلَقَهُمْ وَخَرَقُوا لَهُ بَنِينَ وَبَنَاتٍ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى عَمَّا يَصِفُونَ Yet they join the jinns as partners in worship with Allah. It's talking about a group of kuffar. They used to attribute the jinn as a partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Though Allah is the one who created them. And they attributed falsely without knowledge sons and daughters to him. Glorified be Allah and exalted above all what they attribute to him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse, he has refuted all of the claims, not just of the Christians, but any of the disbelievers, those who have attributed any lies to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to making somebody the son or the daughter of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah ta'ala says, Badi'u samawati wal ard. Allah is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Anna yakunu lahu waladu wa lam takul lahu sahiba. How can he have a son, whereas he doesn't have a wife, a spouse? Wa khalaqa kulla shay, and he created everything. Wa huwa bi kulli shay in alim, and he is aware, he is knowledgeable of everything. Then Allah Taala says, "Dalikum Allahu Rabbukum." This is your Lord Allah, la ilaha illahu. There is no ilah, no partner except Him. Khaliqu kulli shay in fa'abudu. He created everything, so worship Him. Wa huwa ala kulli shay in wakil, and He is. Wakil, or he is the trustee or the guardian over everything. So in these verses, as we see, Allah Ta'ala refutes the false claims of those people who attribute sons and daughters to Allah and associate partners with Allah. Then Allah Ta'ala teaches us who Allah is. This is a very simple concept that everybody can attain it. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala also mentions Surah Al-Zukhruf, those people who have attributed to Allah daughters. Allah says, وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ Inatha. They have they make the angels who themselves are the slaves of Allah and they are one of the best slaves of Allah. The angels, they do not disobey Allah. Huh? And they are the slaves of Allah, and these people they attributed the angels as the daughters of Allah. Okay. Ashahidu Khalkahum did the witness their creation. Satuk tabu shahadatuhum wayus alun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says their evidence will be recorded. And they will be asked about this. And I'm sure that you have seen many of those Christmas uh, decorations. You will see a lot of these, you know, uh, girls or ladies. They are in the form of angels. They have wings and they're ladies. Uh, uh, the Christians, they have, you know, uh, they have basically uh, uh, transferred that uh, ideology from the other pagans 
and they did something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has criticized the pagans uh, uh, criticized the pagans in the Quran about which is they made the angels as the daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then Allah ta'ala says in Surah Tawbah referring to the Jews and the Christians وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ عُزَيْرٌ ibn Allah. The Yahud or the Jews they said Uzair is the son of Allah وَقَالَتِ nasara and the Nasara the Christians they said Al-Masih ibn Allah Masih ibn Allah Masih or Isa is the son of Allah ذَلِكَ قَوْلُهُمْ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ This is just their words there is no truth in this matter يُضَاهِئُونَ قَوْلَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَبْلِ they, they basically borrowed these words from those who disbelieved before them قَاتَلَهُمُ الله أَنَّا يُؤْفَكُنْ Allah scars be upon them how they are away from the truth. Then Allah Ta'ala says, اِتَّخَذُوا أَحْبَارَهُمْ وَرُهْبَانَهُمْ أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ They have taken their rabbis and their monks as a partner besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْمَسِيحَ ibn, ibn Maryam And also they took Masih ibn Maryam as a partner with Allah. Remember we talked about, they, they, talk, they, they made Isa ibn Maryam the son of Allah. They said Isa, Isa is God or he has divinity. All of this Allah is refuting here. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا إِلَاهًا وَاحِدًا And they have not been commanded but to worship only one God. Allah, la ilaha illahu, there is no God except Him, there is no one word they worship except Him. Subhanahu amma yushrikun, how away, He is away from all imperfection, uh, from having any partners associated with Him, meaning those people who associate partners with Him. This matter of attributing sons and daughters to Allah is a severe matter. Why? Because this is a lie. This is not truth. And we are not supposed to speak about Allah without knowledge. If he said he has son and daughters, we would accept it. No problem about it. But he said he doesn't have it. And these people, they falsely attributed him. So as we will see in these verses in Surah Maryam, that the inanimate objects, which we call the inanimate objects, the earth, the sky, the mountains, even they understand the severity of these words. Okay. So when we see cross, when we see people worshipping cross, we should feel sorry about them. Because it is something really severe. These people, if they know the truth and they die upon it, they are destined in the hell forever. So we should not feel happy about it. We should try our best to convince them to come out of this kufr from this disbelief. Allah Ta'ala says, وَقَالُوا اتَّخَذَ الرَّحْمَنُ وَلَدًا And they say that the most beneficent, the most merciful has taken a son. لَقَدْ جِئْتُمْ شَيْئًا إِدَّا Indeed, you have brought forth a terrible evil thing. تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتُ يَتَفَطَّرْنَ مِنْهُ وَتَنْشَقُّ الْأَرْضُ وَتَخِرُّ الْجِبَالُ هَدَّ Pay attention in this verse, Allah says, These words, it makes the heavens almost tear apart. So the sky that you see, nice and good, they are almost about to tear apart. And the earth upon which we run and we live and we enjoy it, and the smoothness, it is almost about to split apart. And the mountains are going to fall into ruins. Why are they not doing it? Because Allah would not allow them to do it. If Allah would allow them to do this, they would answer the, the kufr and the evil words of these statements by tearing themselves apart, destroying themselves by the permission of Allah. And the awli rahmani walada that this, this, the earth and the sky and the mountain, they want to do this because they, those people, they attributed a son to the most merciful. And it is not suitable that a Rahman would have a son. In kullu man fi samawati wal ardi illa aati rahmani abda. Everything in the heavens and the earth, everything without any exception, comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a slave. They are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a slave. And as you can see, through these verses, Allah ta'ala refers to himself as Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman. So that those who utter these severe words, they should understand that Allah's message is full of mercy for them. If they submit to it, it's full of mercy. It's not to push them away. It's basically to attract them to the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah An-Nisa, for example, Allah ta'ala talks against the Trinity. Allah ta'ala says, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O oh, the people of the book. And when the, we have this term, Ahlul Kitab, the people of the book, 
which means these people they receive the books before us which books Allah's books Allah's original books now there were many nations before us who accepted who received Allah's books but there's only two nation that we know that the Ahli Kitab for us which are the Jews and the Christians other than that we cannot guarantee any other people maybe there are some people that might now come and claim that we have an original book of this prophet and see it matches because he talks about Tawheed and this and that. we cannot call them Ahli Kitab why because we can only call those people Ahli Kitab the one whom Allah has called Ahli Kitab so Allah says Ya Ahli Kitabi La Taghlu Fi Deenikum do not exceed your limit in the religion this is called ghulu extremism hmm? wala taqulu ala allah illa al haqq and do not say anything about allah except the truth inna al masih isa ibn maryam rasulullah indeed masih the son of maryam the jesus the son of mary is just a messenger of allah wa kalimatuhu alqaha ila maryam it is the words of allah which he bestowed upon Maryam meaning Allah said be and the baby was there in her womb how all of this happened only Allah knows huh? and he is a spirit of Allah a spirit from Allah meaning Allah's, Allah created him this is his spirit and Allah called a spirit from him honoring the ruh of Sayyidina Isa ibn Maryam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ so believe in Allah and his messenger وَلَا تَقُولُوا ثَلَاثَ and do not say three talking about the trinity we spoke about trinity what is it the father the son and the holy ghost and they came up with this innovation this bid'ah and they made this three into one and all of this concept are innovated principle in the christian theory i uh subhan uh thalatha intahaw khairan lakum allah Taala says zip your mouth stop here this is better for you innam allahu ilahu wahid indeed allah is only one Subhanahu an yakuna lahu walad and he does not have a son huh? lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard everything that belongs to him everything in the heavens and the earth belongs to him wa kafa billahi wakila and Allah is sufficient as a wakil as a disposer of affairs in surah al-maida Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in verse number 116 and 117 Allah mentions something that will happen on the day of judgment a future event and Allah knows best. This is the most likely the most correct interpretation of this verse in Surah Al Ma'idah, verse number 116 or 17. And this discussion will happen between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Isa ibn Maryam. Allah ta'ala says, Wa idh qala Allahu ya Isa ibn Maryam, ya Isa, ya Isa ibn Maryam, Allah will say, O oh Isa ibn Maryam, a anta kulta li nasi, nasi takhiduni wa ummiya ilaha ni min dunilla. Did you tell the people to take you? and your mother as God beside Allah although Allah knows that he didn't but Allah will ask him so Prophet Isa will answer قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنْ أَقُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِحَقٍ إِنْ كُنْتُ قُلْتُهُ فَقَدْ عَلِمْتَهُ Isa ibn Maryam will say the translation of more of which is uh, glory be to you Subhana it was not for me to say what I have no right i.e. I don't have the right to say worship me and my mother so Allah is here refuting the worshipping of all of the idols that the Christians came with, including Mary, worshipping, you know, that this is one of their great saints and the worship and so on and so forth. Had I said such thing, you would know it. You, because you know everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ta'lamu ma fi nafsi wa la a'lamu ma fi nafsik. You know what is in my soul, what is inside me, and I don't know what is with you. Because I am one of your slaves. Innaka anta allamun ghuyub. Indeed, you are the allam, the one who is the, the, the knower of all of the matters of unseen. Very beautiful answer. He will give and he will talk about his ignorance. I only know what you taught me, and I'll not speak anything other than what you taught me. And you know that. Okay? So, then he will say, Ma kultu lahum illa ma amartani bihi. Never did I say to them anything except what you commanded me, which is to worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. This is what I told the people. And I was a witness over them while I dwelt with them. I made sure that they get this message. 
فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي But when you lifted me, تَوَفَّيْتَنِي Here, talking about the lifting of Prophet Isa, not the death. Because Prophet Isa did not die. We spoke about this when we talked about his life and this is very clear in the Quran. فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي كُنْتَ أَنْتَ الرَّقِيبُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَأَنْتَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ And when you lifted me, you were witness upon them. You watched what they did. I.e. he is referring to the innovation and the lies they fabricated against the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنْتَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ And you are witness over everything. Nothing can be more clear than this refutation. Uh, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in two places by the way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refutes the claim of the, the Christians that they say Prophet Isa is the son of Allah. Allah says, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا those who said they have disbelieved, in Allah who al Masihu, Masihu ibn Maryam. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Here, basically, they Allah Taala refutes the claim that of the Christians that they said Jesus is the God. Jesus is the God. Kul fa mayam liku min Allah shay'a in arada an yuhlik al Masihu ibn Maryam wa ummahu wa man fil ardi jamia. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا يَخْلُكُ مَا يَشَا وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Surely in disbelief are those who say that Allah is Jesus. Okay? Then Allah Ta'ala says to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Say, O Muhammad, to these people, Who then has the least power against Allah if he were to destroy the Masih, the son of Mary, his mother, and all those who are on the earth? So if you are claiming that Jesus is God, Allah can destroy Jesus. So if Jesus gets destroyed, how can he be God? And this is a refutation for all of those people who worship false gods. A statue or an idol or a picture or a concept. All of this can be destroyed. So if this can be destroyed, how this can be God? This is a very common sense. That when it strikes, the people, they see it. Hmm? And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all that is in between. And this... Right after this, Allah mentions this verse, which means anything and everything in the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. I, he can destroy all of these things. So if he can destroy all of these things, none of these things can be taken as a God besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this verse, he is not just refuting that Jesus is God, the concept that Jesus is God, but rather anything and everything is God. He refutes all of these concepts. He is refuting all of the pagans and the mushriks, those who attributed lies and partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, uh, the other verse in 72, Allah Ta'ala says, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ huh? And the Masih said, يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ لَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبَّكُمْ O Bani Israel, worship uh, Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Innahu man yushrik billahi faqad harram allahu alayhi al-jannah. Indeed, who attribute, the one who attributes a, a partner with Allah, Allah will forbid the jannah, the paradise for him. Wa ma'wahu nar And his abode will be the hell. Wa ma lidhalimin min ansar. And for the transgressors, there is no victory. There is no trans, trans, for the transgressor. No victory. Then Allah Ta'ala says in the next verse, مَنْ مَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبِلِهِ الرَّسُولِ Masih ibn Maryam is nobody except a messenger like those who came before. وَأُمُّهُ Siddiqa, And his mother is also a human being and she is one of the Siddiqa, one of the highest category of trustworthy people. Huh? كَانَ يَأْكُلَانِ الطَّعَامِ They used to eat food. So Allah Ta'ala is referring to their human Humanship, right? They're not, they don't have Godship. They're human. Unzur kaifa nubayyinu lahumul ayati thumma nzur anna yufakun. Look how we make the ayat clear to them and see how they turn away or turn against the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those who say Jesus is the son of God, Jesus is God, Jesus is part of Trinity, Jesus is this, Jesus is that, and Mary is this, Mary is that. You, do, you know, that they're human beings, which is, they were born, they're like us, they ate, they went to the markets, they did everything like human beings. So if this is so, how could you make them gods? 
That's why in Surah Ali Imran Allah says, Inna mathala Isa indallah. Indeed, the example of Isa to Allah, kamathali Adam, is like Adam. Khalaqahu min turab, he created Adam from the dirt, thumma qala lahu kun fayakun. And then he said, be and it is. So if Allah can turn dirt, which has nothing to do with human body, if you look at the dirt, it has nothing to do, it's, it's something else and human body is something else. Allah transferred or Allah transformed the dirt into all of these intricate cells that we have in the body. Our brain cell is different than our heart cell, is different than our lung cell, different than our kidney cell, different than our muscles, different than our nails. All of these came from earth. Very easy for Allah. So just because Isa does not have a father, don't say the father is Allah. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is refuting that concept that they came, the Christians, they say, since he doesn't have a father, who is his father? God is his father. So the same question is asked using this verse to the Christians. So what would you say about Adam? He didn't have father. He didn't have mother. So would you say that Adam, his father and mother, both is God? They say, no, 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 no. God is God and he created Adam. So, okay. So God is God. He created Adam. So God is God. He created Isa. What's the problem? How come in that, in the, in, when it comes to Isa, your prophet, you, you created this theory? You came up with these concepts. So this is a refutation against or an understanding to make the, clear to them that that's, that understanding is not correct. That's why in Surah Al-Zukhruf, Allah Ta'ala mentions about uh, our Prophet Sallallahu Allah says, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ الرَّحْمَنُ قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ لِلرَّحْمَنِ وَلَدٌ Say, O Muhammad, if the most merciful had a son, فَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْعَابِدِينَ Then I am the first of the Worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, he is the first person who is going to refute this concept. He is going to, he's the first person who is going to refute this concept that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has son. Why? Because he doesn't have a son. And he doesn't have a daughter. Why? Because he doesn't have a spouse. So all of these concepts are very clear in the Quran. And that is something that we should study so that we can, inshallah, make it clear to our friends, our neighbors, our relatives who are Christians or Jews or any other religion that nothing can be attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge and all of these attributions are false and man-made. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make, give us understanding of the deen and to make us learn the stories of the prophets as it is in the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallam, so we can learn the truth as the truth and we can differentiate the truth from the falsehood. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.